Hey, <laughs> so I made a turkey pot pie last night and I used it this morning for a demonstration and then I gave it to my friend who was sick <laughs> so so she could have dinner tonight and then I get home tonight and Mike's like, I thought we were having turkey pot pie for dinner. So anyways, <laughs> we are going to have turkey pot pie. I randomly have all the ingredients so it is super easy to do this. So we use onions, celery, carrots. These are things that I always have avail available frozen peas. So the funny thing is, is my carrots and celery here are actually frozen. So I had a little bit extra in one of the times that I went grocery shopping and I put them in the freezer. These can easily be chopped down to a smaller size. So I'm going to use up these frozen ones to make the pot pie today. I'm going to um, cook those in a pan a little bit and then yesterday when I was making the onions I went ahead and made a whole extra onion so these are already translucent and ready to go they just need to be warmed up and then I still have some sage and thyme here that are fresh that are a couple weeks old and this is just chopped up turkey all ready to go so chopped up turkey, I'm gonna add peas. I have some stock here. This is on the blog, the recipe's on the blog. And then I just get the frozen pie crusts. Like, they work when we're in a super big hurry. These work just fine. You can get pastry, um, puff pie, frozen ones too, if you wanna do that. You can make it if you want to. If somebody is home, <laughs> then we make gluten-free, but she's not home right now. So we work on this, or do this. And I can whip all these ingredients up in around 10 minutes and have the filling for the pie, and then I just have to put it in the oven. So turkey, pot pie, you can make this with chicken pot pie, super easy, super easy to do right after Thanksgiving, or just freeze your turkey, and when you freeze it, crumble it up or put it in slices, but put it in like one cup servings when you freeze it, and then that way you can make whatever you want, anytime, because you have all the ingredients in your house. So the recipe for this we will type up for you and have ready, but this is a great after Thanksgiving a meal to think about. Okay, those are all cut up. I'm going to throw these in the pan. I'm going to add the onions just to reheat them here in a second. And then I'm going to add the chicken to reheat it. And I'm going to put some butter and some flour in there and cook the flour down. And then I'll be adding some chicken stock. Oh, some milk and some milk and kind of make a gravy, the pie filling. And then towards the end of that, I will add the peas so that they don't overcook. This parsley is getting a little yellow, but I'm going to use the green ones. And it is from September and today is November 14th. I'm just saying. So totally fresh. It's been in the refrigerator. I'm going to pick out the yellow ones and end up giving those to the chickens, but I've been trying to keep this as long as I can just so I could show you guys what it looks like. But I'm going to be using the fresh parsley here and then I have fresh sage and thyme but you can totally use dry ingredients for these too. I just happen to have fresh ones and that's what I'm going to use. I'm going to add up the onions which were already cooked. So I'm going to end up adding like two tablespoons of butter and like a quarter cup of flour and make a roux here. Trying to get all the liquid to cook off because these were frozen. The carrots and the celery were frozen and so they have a little bit extra water. Okay, I'm gonna add butter. And then, I don't have a measuring cup. So this is a third cup of flour I'm gonna add in there as the butter is melted. I'm just gonna move this around for a few minutes and let the butter cook. Okay. This is my stock. I'm shaking it up because it's been sitting on a shelf. I'm going to add about a cup of the stock to the pot. I've totally forgotten to add salt and pepper to this. And I forgot to mention, I did have garlic grilled with the onions already. So if you don't have garlic, add it now. So it's starting to look like a little bit of a gravy, but we're going to thicken the earth. It's looking like a gravy. It's too thick for what I want it right now. So I'm going to thin it out a little bit. So I've put like a cup and a half of stock in here, which quite funnily, quite interestingly, whatever you want to call it. That was actually beef stock because I used the last of my turkey and chicken stock because it's November and it will be just fine. So I am adding beef stock and turkey and it'll be okay. Nobody's gonna complain. This is the turkey. You can shred it up. I just cut it up. It's about a cup or so. I'm gonna add that in. And I'm gonna add like a cup of milk. 
Okay, I'm gonna put salt and pepper in this and I'm gonna cut the herbs and add. And right at the last second, I'm going to put the peas in there and then I'm going to put it in the pie crust. All right, I have parsley, sage, and thyme right here and I'm just going to dump that all in there. Again, if you didn't have fresh herbs that you were trying to use up from Thanksgiving, then just put dried in there. I'm just gonna let this cook down a little bit. I did put some salt and pepper in there. And then I'm just gonna pour this in my pie crust. So I'm gonna put this in the pan and get it ready for the oven. I almost forgot the peas. So I'm gonna put frozen peas in here, about a cup worth. If you can see, it's just all thick and creamy and all the great things for a turkey pot pie. Now, I just take the pie crust and I'm gonna lay it out on the bottom here. I'll try not to rip it. So these can be frozen, just make sure that you defrost it before you're going to use it. But I normally buy them only in the fall time and they last in the refrigerator for a couple months at a time. See, I did that too quickly and I almost ripped it. The bottom one I don't care as much about and then I try to make the top one just perfect. So it just rolls right out and it will fit, fit in a nine inch pie plate. Make this look pretty for you and then I will show it to you. Just kind of keep fitting it around. Pie crust. I'm gonna wash this really quick. I'm gonna use the measuring cup to fill up the pie. I'm trying to heat up on this because I always forget. You have to do a taste test to make sure that the seasoning is how you want it. So don't forget to do that before you put your pie in the crust. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna fill it up. I was just watching this on replay and realized that when I turned the camera off, I thought it was off and when I turned it on, anyways, I missed like the whole last minute that I should have been talking about this, but I had put the top crust on it and kind of folded over the edges and then I had used one egg and a teaspoon of water and made an egg wash and brushed that onto the pie crust on the top and then I put it in our convention, conventional oven, I put it in the oven at 375 for 30 minutes and I just watched it to make sure that it didn't get too brown. If your oven does make things browner quicker then just cover it with tin foil. So I did start watching it around 20 minutes just to make sure it didn't get overly cooked. But anyways, I'm so sorry. I missed the last minute of filming that. But here is the pie all done. So this is turkey pot pie but you can easily make this all year long with chicken also.